good morning, MA department and everybody who is here joining us today. I want to welcome all of our guests today. So I want to thank all of you for joining us. Um, today, uh, we are celebrating something very special. Uh, one of our MA students, Ms. Ivana Meza Nuno. I want to introduce her to you guys because she is getting a very prestigious award from our CAPS. This award is being presented by the California Association of Post-Secondary Schools. Out of hundreds of schools in California, Ivana was selected as the winner of the Mike McHale Award for Recent Immigrants and First Generation Americans. I would like to introduce you to Ms. Jackie Azizian who will read about the CAPS Mike McHale Award. Thank you, Walter, and again, congratulations to our dear student, Ivana. Let me go ahead and read about Mike McHale Scholarship so you guys can know what's going on and the reason why she won this award. Mike McHale Memorial Scholarship is for a student who are recent immigrants to the United States of first generation Americans. We congratulate this year's Mike McHale Award recipient from a medical assistant department, Ivana Meza Nuno. Hi, my name is Ivana, and I'm here at UEI doing the medical assistant program. I've just finished my eight months um, in school. Right now, I am doing my um, extra, so I'm in two weeks now. When I found out I was selected for the scholarship, um, my instructor and my career service advisor um, gave me the surprise. I came from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Um, I came here when I was nine years old. Um, we struggled a lot just because, um, you know, being an um, immigrant in a country that you've never seen, or you've never spoken the language. Um, it was hard every morning to go to elementary because kids were, you know, they would treat you different just because you were not the same language. When we got here, my, my grandma and my aunt would sell tamales um, in the market. So in every parking lot, we, they would sell tamales. So when we got here, um, they told my mom that we should do the same, so we did. And my grandma would always wanted a restaurant because we did all restaurants in Mexico. So that was her dream to have one here. Um, one day we passed by a lot. It was like an empty place. And she, she, she said to us, that is going to be our restaurant. And we did. We made my grandma's dreams come true. And we actually built a restaurant and right now has been three years now. A lot of us relate to the story. A lot of you guys do remember the story I shared with you during orientation. I myself came to United States. English was a second language for me. I started here. This campus was my foundation. Graduated, started working as a receptionist, moved myself up to director of education, director of admission, and today, for over 12 years, running the campus as a campus president, it is my honor and actually to have a winner from our campus for Mike Mikhail is definitely an honor. I'm very, very happy. Dreams do come true, guys. All you have to do is believe. All you have to do is to work hard for it. That sounds like a plan? Yeah. All right. My advice to any student that's actually struggling, it's, um, Everything's not going to get easier. It's actually going to get harder. But every time you make a milestone, you're going to feel great about yourself. You're going to go to work and you're going to be like, OK, I'm doing this because I need to pay my school. I need to pay my bills. I need to pay my rent. Whatever it is, you're going to get through it. To me, it means a lot, not only to myself, but for my family. Um, we struggle to be here in this country. So I feel like I owe something to it. I want to give a special thanks to my mom and my sister, also my family that helped me a lot. Muy orgullosa, muy orgullosa. A mi niña que ha sabido aprovechar, sabido salir adelante. Eh, no ha defraudado ni a su madre ni a mí que soy su abuela. Bendito sea Dios y gracias a ella. Felicidades, hija. Thanks to these three beautiful ladies, I am the person I am now. <laughs>